Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome to a new video today. I am actually going to show you guys how to set up OBS Studios and settings for a bad laptop or a bad PC. And I've actually got recently got a new PC. I don't know if you guys watched that video or not. But anyways, I have a really good computer now. And so I just use my laptop for like traveling and uh, stuff like that. Even though I never travel in the first place. But just <laughs> places where I can't take my normal computer with me. So this is what I've used for the past like two years for reco recording and uploading uh, gameplay for Minecraft. Because Minecraft is basically the only thing that it could run. Uh, but I played a few like Team Fortress 2 back in the day, but I just mainly stuck to Minecraft. So depending on what kind of games uh, you guys play, this might not be the best uh, settings for you guys that play like some like crazy FPS games or high intensity uh, with graphics and stuff because it's kind of hard to do that without blowing up your computer. So, so anyways, right here I have my specs for my laptop. And this is probably about like a four, maybe five year old laptop. So, I mean, it's it's alright. It still runs pretty well, I'm not going to lie. It's just a little bit slower, obviously. But we have our processor, which is uh, i3. Our CPU is 1.7 gigahertz, and then we also have a six gigs, six gigs of RAM. We have a 64-bit operating system, Windows, obviously, and uh, that's pretty much it. There's no extra like graphics card or anything special. It's just like a regular built laptop from Costco. Costco is very good, by the way. I definitely recommend it. You see uh, on the down here on the bottom where be been recording for two minutes right now and then our CPU is about like eight to nine percent which is pretty good it's not super high but uh, it is 30 frames because I cannot I tried a 60 FPS uh, and it that that didn't work for me because it would uh, glitch out my frames it would be laggy in the video uh, but I got it to where everything was pretty smooth uh, it's still gonna be HD it's still HD if you put it through your editing software uh, depending on what kind of editing software you have that you can make it HD through that so go ahead and go to my settings go ahead and open those and then this is just the general stuff that pops up to the general settings so in here is pretty much in the general you don't really have to change anything uh, there's not really anything you have to change to fix recording wise uh, but you can take a look at that if you want the next tab down is stream uh, you can set up a stream key if you want I tried to set up a stream key but our internet sucks so <laughs> I wasn't able to stream which uh, it is it's something that I wanted to do so I was kind of ticked off about that but hopefully we can get better internet so I might be able to stream here in the future future but this is what we want to go to so we want to go to output so by default it will be a simple so this is on the top you have your streaming and your recording if you're not streaming just don't even uh, mess with that this is only the video I'm going to be doing is only for recordings so we have our recording pass so this obviously takes you uh, after you finish recording it will put the videos in the selected folder so you can bro browse them my name is just in the videos so you also have recording quality uh, same as stream which as I said if you don't stream just leave it uh, but we you want to go to a, the advanced settings uh, because that's actually kind of better because you can change a lot more things so go ahead and over to the recording section over here we have the standard and custom output just leave it to standard recording path is basically the same if uh, files videos so I just set it as mp4 you can set it however you want but I like mp4 if you want separate audio tracks so the one like if you put it in your editing software and you have that ability to do uh, different audio tracks you can set it to two or three or whatever I just use mine as one so since I don't really have anything else I just use the two 64 and then if you want to rescale your output basically it just means that if depending on how big your screen is uh, then it will rescale it to whatever size that you put in I don't have that set because I it's not necessary for me then we have the rate control so uh, this is our rate control so CBR is the constant bit rate so that is what I'm 
have mine to uh, I forgot what the other ones are called because I never use them <laughs> so go ahead and have that bit rate so basically the best way to describe bit rate is the quality of the video itself if you set it too high you might get some like frame uh, errors and stuff like that so for my computer my specs uh, depending on it's gonna be a little bit different depending on how bad your PC is or how good it is but this video is for bad PCs obviously so I set mine at 21 100 and that works great for me uh, as I said 30 FPS 21 that that's pretty much set K-frame intervals not very it's just zero and then CPU usage I want mine ultra fast because if I set it to any anything higher my recording will be trash so I just set it as that and that's everything pretty much that I want to do for the advanced audio is up to you whatever you want uh, you can have the sample rate 48 or stereo mono it's just up to you and then in here is where you're going to set if you have like a mic uh, you want to set your headset mic if you want and then in the video this is where you set your FPS values as I said I can't do 60 um, I just put it 30 and it works pretty well we also have by cubic which is basically also have it the downscale filter to by cubit that, that's how I set mine and then hotkeys if you want it to uh, uh, for my recording, I have Control O. You can set it to a however you want. And then Advanced, I don't really, really mess with anything in here. In here, I don't really mess with anything in here. Uh, but if you want to like change up the dates, hours, minutes, seconds, you can do that if you want. But that is pretty much it with everything with OBS Studios. Let me know if you have any questions. As I said, it's going to be a little bit different depending on how good, bad your PC is. Uh, but for me, these settings worked pretty well, pretty smooth. I didn't get any like frame drop errors in game or during the recording. So I think that's pretty good for this laptop. So let me know, as I said, down in the description below. Uh, you can go download OBS if you have not downloaded it already. Pretty sure OBS is definitely the best uh, free recording software out there. So go ahead and download it and uh, try it out on uh, on your games and see how well it works for you. But that's pretty much it. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.